I'm going to present some information that we're just beginning to pull together from MyLime data. It's called ma mapping MyLime data. So what we started to do uh, was we thought it would be interesting to take the MyLime data cases uh, and look at them compared to how they, you know, how they were distributed across the United States. So this shows you that we've got cases that have been reported throughout the United States. You know, we're a little bit uh, dominant in California, which is to be expected because um, LymeDisease.org started off as a California organization, so uh, we have a, a, a greater concentration of cases here. But otherwise, we're, we're very much distributed throughout the United States. And we compared it to this map of uh, CDC total cases, and I'm working with this really sort of wonderful map maker. Um, her name's Suzanne, and she put this map together for me. And uh, I asked her specifically to take the states where there were zero cases and make them gray, because usually you see this sort of a map, and it actually would show as like a green, whereas the CDC says, no, actually there are no cases of Lyme disease in Colorado, New Mexico, Oklahoma, or Arkansas. And uh, so when I was at ILADS last year, I asked ILADS if they would share with me their physician referrals, and they were kind enough to do that. And we were talking about the difficulty of getting early diagnosis, and particularly in states where people say, well, there's no Lyme here, so they don't test you, they don't look for it, and you don't get diagnosed and you don't get treated. And uh, what, we've, what we were focusing in on here was this case that was coming out of Colorado that was picked up by CBS News. And, you know, over a 10-year period, the CDC reported in Colorado 12 cases. We had uh, 85. Uh, the tick bites, you know, this is people who are in my Lyme data who actually recall a tick bite, were 23. And the canine cases... Uh, which are based on a rolling five-year average, were 515, and the ILADS physician referral requests were 742. So, you know, the concept is when you're looking at risk factors in particular, you know, what data should you be tracking? What's going to give you the most reliable information about uh, your risk exposure? So we decided to take those... Um, the cases that we had in the CDC cases and just look to see where we had more cases reported than the CDC had. Because that's, you know, we shouldn't have more cases than the CDC. The CDC's got 30,000 people that they're reporting, and this data is roughly 6,000 people. So, you know, just it really, we ought to be a fraction of the CDC across the board. But what we found instead was that in all of these states that are indicated in blue, my Lyme data had more cases than the CDC was reporting. And what you'll notice about this map is that all of those cases are in the west and the south, essentially. So we thought it would be interesting to take those 24 states, and that's what it, what it amounted to, is 24 states in the south and the west, and look at all of the different data sources that we have for estimating risk. So we looked at the IDEX canine cases, and just in the south and the west, there were over 25,000 uh, cases reported with the canines. Yeah. The physician referrals from uh, ILADS was about 7,000 cases. The MyLyme data cases were 2,300. The MyLyme data tick bites recalled was 1,200. And there's the CDC off in the corner there, 513. So this is just a map that shows the MyLyme data diagnosed Lyme cases. Here's the uh, tick bite location uh, cases. Here's the canine cases, which you can see, you know, really paint a very different picture than the CDC cases for risk exposure. And here's the ILADS physician referral cases. So if you put all these maps together and look at them, what you see is that all of the other sources of information besides the CDC is saying that there's a lot more Lyme in the West and in the South. And it's reflected in the canine cases, it's reflected in the MyLyme data cases, 
and it's reflected in the ILADS physician referral cases. So we think that by putting together information like this, we can start to make the case that the CDC is systematically underreporting cases in the West and in the South, and it's probably one of those vicious cycles where you say there's no Lyme in this area, therefore nobody looks for it, therefore nobody diagnoses it, nobody tests it, and the people aren't treated. And it becomes self-perpetuating. 